rolling here. Hopefully we have audio and video this time. I had the video minus the audio a minute ago. If this doesn't work, I have one more solution, which is going to be really old school, but it'll work just fine. So if you would, I'm going to ask a little question here and make sure um, you guys can hear me. Let's see if you can. If you can, just type something in the box. Can you hear me? We are good. All right. So audio and video good this time? Thank you very, very much. All right. Here we go. Thank you for your patience. I appreciate that. You know, uh, for um, what am I? I'm, I'm eight for nine, let's just say. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I'm doing this all by myself, so I'm very proud of myself. Thank you. <laughs> Again, I am Jill DeWitt, co-founder of Land Academy and House Academy, uh, along with my partner, Stephen Jack Butala. And oh, thank you, Kyler. I'm not sure. So I don't know if you guys can see I've got two mics here. It's kind of funny. But I figured one of them is going to get me. <laughs> so this is good. Thank you for, for letting me know that it's good. I wanted to uh, get with everyone today to kind of finish what I started talking about last weekend with all this nuttiness going on and ways that I'm working, you know, through this and handling it and things that might help you work through this and get through these interesting times that, that we're dealing with. And then also I have some other just awesome fun stuff for members and people who want to be members or just people kind of want to, you know, learn more what Land Academy and House Academy is all about. So as I said, I'm one of the co-founders. My partner, Stephen Jack Butal, and I created Land Academy back in 2015. And then House Academy last year, I want to say, maybe I can't remember, it was 18 or 19 was our official House Academy release. Um, but um, we are basically the pros at buying and quickly reselling uh, properties. We do land all over the country and we do houses also all over the country. And we're also, um, by the way, the only ones that, you know, cause we're here doing deals right alongside you. We've never stopped some we've, you know, we're not, we didn't learn to do this to make an education program and just relax. No, we're, we are investors too. So thank you. We have gone so far as create all kinds of tools that help us and help you. We have created an online community. You can find it at Land Academy and House Academy. We have weekly calls. We have live events. and We do all that stuff to support you. Today, I'm here because I want to share three things with you. Um, and then I have a Q&A at the end. So you can type in anytime, ask questions as we go, and I'll try to address them. Or if you want to save them for the end, that's does, all good. I'll have a big Q&A at the end. So first, I'm going to talk about staying positive and focus, which is we joke about that, but it's really true in our relationship and in our business, everything about us. Um, Steven's more the information and I'm the inspiration. So today it's me. I'm going to talk a little more about inspiration. I think right now there's a lot of information coming at us and we could use a little inspiration. Then the second thing I'm going to talk about today is I have um, some special announcements for Land Academy members. And then I have an exciting opportunity for anybody who wants to join Land Academy and be part of the Elite 500. We uh, set out a while ago. Um, we talked about it for a while. We made it official uh, at the end of last year that we just are capping it at 500. It really helps us stay connected and, and maintain the standards and, and be able to help all the 500 members that make up Land Academy, so really happy. And every month, some things happen, especially right now, I understand. So we usually have some openings, so I can, uh, I'll talk about that here more in a few minutes. But so first I wanna talk about um, why I'm here today. It's really about staying positive and staying focused. I get it. I'll tell you, um, it's funny. Steven and I often work from home but like a lot of Land Academy members, this is our gig. You know, we've been doing home and remote work for a long time and we were really good at it. But when someone tells you, you have to stay home and you're forced to stay home, oh, now it's a whole different ball game. <laughs> so, and let me tell you, I'll just share what's going on about what's uh, in my house right now. Even though we have our own offices and our own space and our own staff, boy, for some reason we are, we are really um, 
stepping on each other's toes a little bit, bit right now. And I'm sure a lot of you can understand and, and relate to that, especially for those of you with little kids at home. I'm, I'm sure that's making your life even more special and more challenging while you're trying to you know, run a business and, and or just get work done while you have you know little people at your feet. So I understand. We are very lucky, by the way, because our, our uh, youngest is 16. So he's actually, he, and it's a boy, so he prefers to hide in his room. We have to pull him out now and then make sure he's getting, you know, some sun and some exercise. It's pretty darn funny. So anyway, but I get it. There is, there is such a thing as too much together time. I think we've all learned that. So, you know, is your mojo down? You know, mine's, mine's, mine went up and down a little bit. I, I'm going to admit these first couple of days, I, and I'm usually miss positive all the time. But I've even struggled a little bit. So that's why I kind of wanted to stop and say, I don't care who you are. You may be experiencing this and, and we can talk about it and, and help each other. Maybe your whole house is out of work. You know, I've talked to some people that, you know, they they wish they had our problem. They wish that they were, um, you know, busy and taking care of stuff. No, they're just, they're just trying to figure out what to do and, and uh, you know, stay positive. Um, and I know it's like a... And some of us, you know, you're working for home for the first time and that can be hard too. It's like some people can do online classes and some people are not good at online classes. They need to be kind of hands-on or in the classroom doing things. Other people thrive, other people thrive on it. They know how to manage their time and, and they can stay focused and, you know, do a lot of reading and videos. But for some people, it's hard. And the other thing that's going on right now with, with my mojo, and I wonder if it's you too, is that sometimes not knowing is worse. I think, you know, if, if I knew that, Hey, I don't even, at this point, I kind of don't care if, even if you said, Hey, we got to ride this out for, I don't know, X months, at least if I know I have a end date, I just got to make it to X months. I, I can figure this out and plan this out. But right now it's just, you know, we have no real answers. So that, that messes with my mojo a little bit. And then the other thing too, it's really affecting me and I'm sure you're seeing it too, is our, our things in our own neighborhood. Like right, right now, out my window, today is the last day. I live in South Bay, just south of Los Angeles. Right behind me is called The Strand. It's like roughly 30 mile long stretch from South Redonda Beach, Torrance area, all the way up to uh, Santa Monica, you know, almost Pacific Palisades basically. You can ride your bike and jog and run and walk and just, you know, enjoy the strand. Well, guess what? Beach by beach by beach, they're closing it this weekend. And my beach, just today, I watched them put up barricades and I know the signs are coming tomorrow. And it's really making me sad that, that that's happening. So I'm, again, like today, I, as soon as we're done, I'm going to say, we got to get our bikes. We got to go walk on the beach. They're closing our beaches and you know, I'm closing our string on and gosh, in case you couldn't tell, that's why we all live here. So this is going to mess with us and, and we don't know how long that's going to be. So I'm sure in your city, wherever you are, you've got a version of this going on too. And that, and that message with us and it's, you know, and, and, and it's scaring people. And I, and I want to say that, um, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to minimize this. This is very serious. I take this very seriously, but I don't want anyone to panic too. That's the thing. Cause if you, if you go into panic mode, now it's almost a little bit worse. You gotta, you guys still, you know, maintain, you know, a level head. So, okay, this is a great show. We all get it. We're all in the same boat. What do I do about it? Well, I'm going to tell you what I did. Um, this is making me emotional by the way, cause it really is serious. Okay. <laughs> so here's what I did. Sorry. I woke up the other day and I told myself, snap out of it. That's it. I'm really serious. It may work for you. It may not. I don't know. But I really did. I just, I sat up in bed. I don't want, it was like, maybe I gave myself a three days, I'm going to say of like being poopy. I was letting myself have a poopy mood for three days. But um, after that, I said, that's it. You know, day four, I snap out of it, period. And, and uh, I did. So, and I'm going to talk to you more about that. Like, here's, Here's what my normal day looks like. And I, and I want, again, I'm sharing this to, um, I want to help you. And I'd love to know what your, your normal day is like too. And, and thank you. I, I, Liz English, I see you and I love your comments and stuff. Thank you for sharing that. Um, 
So, and by the way, it's funny you say that about the rainbows, Liz. We had two days last week where we had a little bit of rain here in California and I got a couple of gorgeous rainbows and I was able to put those on social media. It was like, wow, of all days I need to see a rainbow. You know, it's kind of today. So here's my normal day right now. And um, I wake up, I make the bed and I get dressed. You got to do it. I'm, I love the things on social media that people are posting. Like, you know, here's my, here's my new uniform, which is, you know, clean jammies <laughs> and, uh, you know, and my slippers and a different ponytail or something. I, I, I think that's cute. I understand for me, that doesn't work. I can't do it. I have to get dressed every day. Even if I don't have to, I do. Um, I do like, um, part of my normal morning routine with Steven was we would get up and sit on the couch and have some coffee and watch a little bit of the morning TV shows. So I didn't change that, even though we all know what's going on on the morning TV shows. <laughs> now I, I've gotten really good at taking it with a grain of salt and, you know, I pay attention to the parts I want to hear. Um, I tune out the things that I'm not interested in. I'm getting real good at that. But I do keep that same routine because I, I like it. It's normal for me. The new thing for us now is I am ready every day. Steve and I both online. We have a daily video chat with everyone uh, in our company. And that's that's obviously new for us. We sent them all home, and but we check in every day. And we think it's really important that we connect and not just connect and talk, but the connect that they see us. They need to, and today we had a fun day because people are starting to dress funny now. We're doing little silly things. It's kind of cute. So uh, we put those, we take a screenshot too. It kind of looks like the Brady Bunch, you know, with everybody there, Jan, Marsha, Steve and me, you know, it's cute. So we've been posting those on our uh, Facebook page. Hopefully you've seen those, but we're, we're committed to doing that. So I check in with everybody. And what am I doing that too is I want to make sure that, that they're feeling good. I'm, I'm doing kind of a temperature check on my team, um, seeing if they need anything. Are they smiling? Are they getting dressed in the morning? Um, and I'm connecting with them on their daily tasks too. I want to make sure everybody knows you know, exactly what they should be working on and, and again, see if they need any help with anything. Then the next thing I do, all right, that's all done. Now I'm going kind of business as usual. I head into my home office, Stephen has his home office, and we go in there and gosh, just go to work. I really avoid mindless news reading. It's actually not hard for me. I I, I don't really watch stuff. It's kind of funny because Stephen sometimes will go, did you hear X, Y, Z? And I'm going to honestly say, nope, didn't know. I I just avoid that stuff. and I pay, But I do pay attention to um, like in social media, I'm trying to be more active now, especially in social media, answer questions and help people, um, with land buying and selling and houses and things and sending out mailers. But I do, if a, if an article pops up that piques my interest, I do watch that. And it's still, I'll tell you, it's still primarily it's my business stuff. And that's what I'm really paying attention to. So I'm, I'm not watching the over and over repeat news, but I am watching new statistics about, you know, home prices and how they're being affected here and how landlords are looking to address uh, this issue, things like that, and closures, you know, how it's going to be really interesting. We talked about this um, yesterday on our weekly member call about, you know, the commercial office space. Um, it's going to be so interesting to see how that all plays out when this is all done, because there are many of us, like us included, Stephen and I, that thought there's no way our team would ever be successful if we sent them home. And they're doing a good job. They really are. So eating our words <laughs> and we might make some changes in our own uh, environment. And then the last thing I do is I'm still buying and selling. My normal day-to-day -day business is buying and selling land. And I'll share with you right now, I had a deal uh, I was going to do about a week and a half ago. And I was supposed to wire the money. Actually, it was a, I was supposed to wire the money. You know what? It was a last Friday. It was a week ago today. I remember now. I was going to wire the money on Friday. They were waiting for me. And I, I said, you know what? I just need to see how the weekend goes. I'm not going to wire the money yet. I want to get through this weekend. I want to talk to this 
I was working with a broker because he knows this area and it's the perfect kind of property for this guy. Um, it's in Tennessee. And I said, I want to talk to him one more time. So Monday morning, I get up, I call him and we have a real good heart to heart about this property and what he thinks it can do. And it's still not a bad deal. But he's like, yeah, you know, it's, I, I'm, we're, neither of us were feeling it at that price. So what did I want to do Monday? I wanted to get out of the deal. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'm not feeling it. So I talked to the manager who's who's managing the deal, who's running it for me and brought the deal. I'm, it's a deal funding deal that somebody else found the deal. They got it all going, escrow everything, and I'm just the bank. But we're, we're on the same page because it's my money, his deal, because we're both, you know, we want it to go well. We want to admit we're going to split the profits on this. Anyway, so we talked and I said, I don't know if I want this deal. So he said, all right. And I gave him some ways. I said, just, you know, please go back to the seller and say, you know, I'm really sorry. Here's where we are now. And I told him, I said, the only way I've considered this deal is if we have to buy it, you know, and I, I hate to be that guy, but there's, we have some red flags here and I'm, and I want to be honest. So he went back to the seller and I'll tell you the paperwork's going through now. It's talking about doing deals. It's not changing, but the numbers are changing. My $20,000 deal became a $5,000 deal. So we're all in escrow ready to go and sign. I'm just waiting for the new, you know, closing statement showing a, you know, basically a $15,000 reduction on the purchase price. Like, and now I have to do the deal. And so that's, we talked about a lot on our member calls, by the way. Um, this is the stuff I'm talking about in social media with our people. These deals are still there. I want you to really pick the good ones. And I want you to really pick ones that you have to do the deal. You, you know, what's going to happen because people are buying. So that's my day. Now, um, to take a step to help you personally, a couple things I want to make sure that you're doing. Um, number one, I know it goes without saying, but you got to eat well. I just saw today that 7-Eleven is doing free delivery. I'm like, oh, great. Now I can get a Slurpee from my couch. That's all I need. <laughs> so, and, and that sounds kind of, I, I, I like Slurpees. I haven't had one in a long time. It's like tempting just to test it, just to see, can they deliver a Slurpee for me? But I'm not going to do that. But I want you to make sure you eat well. I want you to get exercise. And I want you to find the sun. You know, some of you are used to this. Not Maybe not used to this, obviously. But I know I've, I was born and raised in Southern California. So I never had to deal with, you know, months of overcast. And Stephen, on the other hand, is from Michigan and Detroit. And he says, oh, you have no idea. We go through days, you know, days, weeks, months in the wintertime not seeing the sun. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I, I, I can't imagine. So that's the only thing you might... You might be okay with that, but still we need the sun. So if you can get out there, find the sun. I know I am totally uh, solar powered. And the other thing too, personally, don't do what I get do, do sometimes. I will find myself working 24 seven and Steven's so sweet. He will come along my office and pretty much, you know, almost close my computer on me because I'll just, I just won't, I won't stop sometimes. And I know it's not healthy and I know it's not, not good. So we need to um, give ourselves some breaks. So what can you do to help yourself professionally? What can we do? Well, number one, let's turn off the news. You know, I want you to get excited about learning something about your business. That is what I want you to focus on. Online traffic is way up. We know that. And the buyers are out there. So I was reading about and thinking about you know, new ways to market land for sale. But you know what? Sometimes right now we don't necessarily need that. Our old ways are working just fine. We just to make sure that, that we're posting things and getting them out there. Because guess what? The same tools that we were using, you know, people are selling land off Facebook. They're selling land off um, TikTok. They're selling land off um, Instagram, all kinds of places. Now you've got more eyes on your property. So you may not necessarily have to learn a new uh, tool. It wouldn't hurt. Just make sure you're really effectively using all the ones that we already know about. So, so a couple of things too I want to say. I want to make sure this so helps my mojo. Professionally and personally, reach out to other people. We do that, like I said, with my team every single day. We have video chats where we see each other, we connect. We do it every week with our members. We always have. Um, now it's even more important. And I'm having so much fun every week. Steve and I get to see new members. Well, not new members, but members of Land Academy and House Academy that weren't able to join us 
on our Thursday afternoon calls and webinars, and now they can. So it's really kind of nice that we can connect there. And the other thing that's kind of funny that we're going to start doing with our friends is um, do Zoom parties. We were on one uh, Wednesday night for our friend's birthday. It was so darn funny. We started off at 6.30 p.m. with a glass of wine in each of our hands, just toasting my friend uh, Marcy and singing happy birthday to her. And then by the end of the, you know, evening. It was three hours later. We all forgot to eat. We had so much fun. We were still laughing and joking and getting more, everyone was leaving to get more bottles of wine and, and sit down and just have fun with our friends. And it was really, really good. So it sounds weird, uh, but do it. And, and I would love to see land academy groups doing it. Steve and I were talking about, gosh, can we do this with, with our land academy people without getting it huge? So um, if you want to do one, if you had do it for Land Academy and hey, send us an invite. If I'm around, I'll have a glass of wine with you guys and say hi. I think that'd be really fun. So please keep us in the loop. That's really, really good. So that's what we're doing. The other thing I want to say, this really helps. This really helps with me uh, and my mood too, is doing something for other people. Boy, it's, it's a really big pick me up, even if it's just um, finding a cause online to donate to. Uh, Stephen got involved helping um, our local community with all of the um, restaurant workers around that there's I mean, some a small percentage of restaurants stayed open here that are doing takeout and delivery. A lot of them just said it's not worth the effort. I watched a few try to do it and they just recently said I can't I can't do it. It's not working money wise and they stopped. So he's been donating money to that. I'm, I'm coming up with ways to feed some of our first responders in the area. That's one thing that makes me feel really good. So gosh, whatever it is, find a way to um, give back because that will really, really help. Something funny that I did actually the other day, I was in, um, I was in one of um, Seth, uh, Seth's groups, Seth Williams, uh, Ari Tipster is a good friend of ours. And I was in one of his Facebook groups of the day and I saw a guy had some questions about a, a property and we just kind of, I said, hey, I, he's trying to do his due diligence on the property. I don't know who he is. And I don't think he knew who I was, but I just said, if you want my help, I, you know, I, I'll, I'll help you. And I basically did a quick little, um, free consulting, uh, zoom chat. Would you do this deal with this guy? Just, just for fun. It was just kind of, just kind of made me feel good. And I was able to help the guy out. So, you know, especially those of you members that have been around for a while, help out somebody do a little, even though you don't do consulting, you don't want to do consulting, but if it's an area that you know really well, you know, maybe help somebody out. It would make you, it'll really make your day and, and their day. So thank you. Um, so what's the end result here, you know, for me? Whew. I tell you, I waking up and again, telling myself I, I had to do that. I literally just walk around saying snap out of it. You know, if I start to go there, I'm, I'm having more fun. I'm enjoying my business. I, I'm not watching much TV and that makes me feel really good. I am plenty busy and I'm not staring at the fridge because I know it's kind of funny. I see even some comments in here. It's pretty easy to go, well, what's for lunch? And then by two o'clock, you're like, well, what's for dinner? Because we're all looking for stuff to do and, and I get it. I understand. All right. So now um, I'm going to read some of the comments that we have here and then I'm going to jump into some of my special announcements and do some more Q&A. So I love this. So you guys have a lot of good comments here. I gotta, I'm trying to um, catch up. Uh, mobile notaries. Do you know what, Paul, I would say? I don't know if anybody weighed in on this. Some places uh, allow and accept video notary situations. So I would look into that. There's like a video way that you can do it and sign a document I think it's, you know, probably scan in your ID and some things like that, and they'll do the documents for you. So there's a lot. And that's one of the things about this whole environment that we're going on right now. We all know that we've, certain counties allow online recording. I hope every county now goes to online recording. That would make my life so much easier. Uh, I don't, why do we even have to go into an escrow office? Why do we, why can't we just sign on all, everything remotely like this? So this is some of the positive things that I hope come out of this. Yeah, and the notary thing, that's kind of outdated. There's, you know, there are workarounds. We all need to get on board. Um, and thank you, Gary. The sun is always shining behind the clouds. I love it. And that's true. 
Daniel said, uh, Daniel Foley, crisis creates opportunity, especially when healthy. There's a lot of opportunities. Um, I should show these from things here. There's a lot of great opportunities that are happening right now. Our, our business, I'm seeing a lot of opportunities. I mean, you wait, you know us, if you are, if you know us, <laughs> we're constantly coming up with new innovative uh, programs and technology and products. And we have a couple good things up our sleeve right now. I'm really happy. Um, this is great. Thank you, Tim Kraus. He said, my other business income just stopped. It was sad for a few days and then, it, and then I was done. There you go. I did the same thing, Tim. Thank you. And my business didn't stop. I was just, I was just kind of sad, kind of like a little bit lost, you know, for my, my, my routine was messed up or I thought, and it's really not. I just had to snap out of it and figure it out. So there you go. So the, so uh, I sent out 2,000 offers today. Awesome. And now I'm working on another mailer, nervous but pushing through. That's fantastic. I am so glad and thank you for sharing that. Um, oh, thank you, Marilyn. Marilyn said she saw, she saw my rainbows and they were beautiful. Thank you. One was a double rainbow and all the way. I think that was St. Patrick's Day, actually. That was so amazing. Oh, <laughs> Lori. Oh, good, Lori. This is actually funny. <laughs> Lori says, uh, the longer you stay at home, the more homeless you begin to look. That's kind of funny. Again, this ties into my, um, please take a shower. Please get out of bed. Please, you know, put on clean clothes. Please do whatever, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's good. Even if you normally work from home, like we do, I always do anyway, because I, I never know when I need to run in and sign papers or do something also. So I'm always kind of, for the most part, ready. Now I'm making myself, you know, keep doing that. Um, and yeah, yes, we are, Marilyn, we are using Zoom. That's what we're using to check in with our staff. That's a good question. So hi, Mike. Um, this is Long's, and it's going to cover the whole screen. I'm going to read this from Lillian Leaf. Staying positive as a trucker. I mostly ignore the mainstream media, so I haven't felt much of the pressure slash negativity. That's good. I do the wash my hands more frequently, use a hand sanitizer, and yes, you have to. Practicing a bit further from others, especially if they're coughing or sneezing. Started listening to some different podcasts, couple, the survival podcast a couple years ago, so I have plenty of stuff at home. That's good. You're already ready. We could all be better prepared for any sort of emergency, including me. Time to learn new skills, read more, and start understanding what's really important in life. That was awesome. Thank you for sharing that. I love that. Um, boy, that would be great. Ooh, you know what? That's a good idea. Um, we have enough. We have enough people in our world that use Zoom. Uh, you know what, Lori? I'm gonna have my team look into that. <laughs> that would be great. And we use it, of course, for all of our weekly calls that you know. This is awesome. Yeah, and Aaron already said that, Lori. Yes, I'm on it. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I would require her to find. I am reading catching up here. That's good. Liz says, I love all the silly fun. Thank you. We've been doing things like that too. Uh, we wore fairy wings while gardening on St. Patrick's Day and had a virtual birthday party online with a tribe of my friends. I love staying connected with the tribe. Yep, is a great way to support each other. It is. <laughs> oh, this is good, Marilyn. This is so funny. We do this. Um, yes, I ate 15 days of stock food in three, day, three days. That You know what's funny about that? We never uh, did that. We never went out and got, I actually still haven't, I haven't purchased toilet paper, paper towels. I, I just had enough on hand. So now I'm like, all right, I could see I'm going to need to stock up next time I see it. I haven't seen it in a while. But with the food and everything, the grocery stores, I, they have all the fresh stuff that I want. So, you know, the produce and things. So we're doing just fine. Um, this is good. Oh, I like this. Thank you, Chuck shared this. I don't know if I could show the whole thing, but I'll read it. Um, Kelly, Scott Kelly, the astronaut, recently wrote in an article about being in space for almost a year. It's available online at New York Times. His bullet points are one, follow a schedule. Two, pace yourself. Three, go outside. Right? He couldn't do that. Four, spend time every day with something else of interest. I love it. Five, keep a journal. Six, listen to the experts. That's Steve and Jill. Thank you very much, Chuck. And remember, we are all connected. Um, 
Thank you. Lillian Leaf said, thank you. Well put, Jill. Sunlight is important. You know, the, the, um, yeah, vitamin C is, we've, that, I saw that. Some, or actually, I didn't see that. Somebody else told me that. It might have been Stephen that the uh, vitamin C really is proven to help with this virus. We've really got to get outside and, and drink your juice, eat oranges, whatever it is. Limit your daily intake of the news. Exactly. I love all this. Um, get plenty of sleep. That's hard sometimes. Hey, you know what? I'll t I'm going to share this honestly too. I had a few nights I was not sleeping well. And and uh, I I am now. But a couple nights I was up at weird times. And I would go downstairs, watch TV, which is silly. And, you know, and then go back to bed. And then you're all messed up the next day. Not the best plan. So yeah, it's much. Now, now that I kind of, again, had that little chat with myself and got my routine um, back on track. I'm sleeping much better. I hope you are too. Um, that's so good. Desiree said, I did a remote lunch with a friend yesterday over the phone. I'm so glad. Um, that's true. Liz English said, yes, if you have a virtual happy hour, there's not much to clean up after partying with a bunch of friends. <laughs> that is so good. Um, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to sh show neighbor scoop here in just a minute, Aaron. Yeah. The video notary. Let's see. There you, thank you, Desiree. I love it. Desiree said that almost all of Colorado has online recording. Okay, this needs to be a thing. I am so excited. Okay, thank you, Erin English, showing it here too. Notarize.com, some counties take it, some don't. There's my online notary stuff. I'm so glad. Hey, Michael and Catherine, nice to see you. Mail went out yesterday and he says, and more tomorrow. I love it. Is that you guys? Yeah, that's you guys in Mexico. I'm so glad that you guys were able to take that trip. I'm glad it wasn't like this week. I'm glad it was a couple weeks ago. Uh, you guys are so great. Thanks for sharing these e-recording tips. I know you all can see them in, in the threads. So I don't need to show them all here. Um, let's see. New ways of doing things, new businesses, new entrepreneurs. Um, there's a lot of opportunity coming. Oh, this is okay. Dylan said, you guys mentioned in the past webinar, your eBay business took quite a hit during the last recession. Just wondering what the reasons were. I am someone who is currently sells 30%, over 30, plus or minus 30% of my deals there. Just curious so I can add, advise, I could adjust my advertising strategy. So here's what happened to us with eBay. That was our only way of selling. And Stephen will go more into it, but that was pretty much our one and only sales outlet. Had we had all the different ways that we have right now, it wouldn't have hit us so hard. So that's that's the deal. Now we do. Do I do still use eBay? I do, but not as much. It's, it's still not as good as all these other ways I sell property. But at the end of the day, gosh, whatever you're selling, you should not have one place to do it, not your one website. I want you on Amazon. Say you, I don't know, whatever you sell. You know, I want you to sell it on Amazon if it's appropriate have it on your website, blasting it in social media, make a TikTok video of you using it, do some Instagram photos of you, you know, wearing it, whatever it is, get it, get it out there. Just not one place. And that was our biggest downfall. And that's one of the things that we, there's a lot of things that we've shared that we've learned over the years. I've, I've been doing this, you know, with Stephen since, what do we say, 2010? But Stephen, um, has been doing this since the nineties. Uh, this is, it's always been his business since then. And, you know, we've learned a lot and we share all of that. So awesome question. Uh, oh, I love it. Aaron English says I have 16 deals to, to review today. I sent 8,000 units last week. That is awesome. See, that's the thing you could, you could crawl up and just, um, you could, you could, you could, uh, you know, stop working and say, and throw in the towel and, and not do anything. But, uh, I'll tell you the best thing you can do is, is keep doing your business. And I'll tell you why, as I mentioned before, my $20,000 deal became $5,000. There are so many deals out there and there's about to be more. We are actually now really starting to see more and more home run deals. We are buying a lot of land really inexpensively right now for cash. 
they need it and they love the way we do it. We close really fast. Um, and I'm selling land too. There's a, it's very interesting. There's still a lot of people out there there. We all know that there's a lot of people out there. have been waiting for this with a lot of cash, you know, ready to go. And they're looking for these deals and I can't queue them up fast enough as Liz and Aaron English know, and Michael and everybody else on this call, our members here and Chuck, you know, um, there's a lot of good deals out there and that's what's happening. I'm, I'm excited. And that's what's going on too. My business, is, I'm actually getting busier. Now I've got more calls coming back. I mean, people that didn't want to sell to me six months or a year ago are now calling me back going, Hey, well, would you do this deal? And now I'm looking at going, yeah, okay, let's, let's talk. Because I mean, honestly, my offer back then might be a different offer now and it's still going to be a great deal for everybody, for them and for me and my buyers, especially my buyers. Um, yep. Let's see here. Um, that's good. Thank you, Liz. Jenna. Jake says, do most of your accepted offers come back, uh, in the mail without a phone call beforehand or the sellers typically call? Mine is usually they call. Honestly, that's, that's how it goes. So it seems like I only get the signed offers back. If it's someone that's not a tech person, maybe they're just too busy. They're just good. They just, they just sign it, send it back. No, it's going to happen. And, or they might be of a, um, a different, an older generation where they, they like the mail and they might send it back with you, sign it, send it back with a nice note, you know, telling you how they, you know, where to reach them or something like that. But most of the time they pick up the phone and call and say, I got your offer. You know, let's talk. I'm ready to do this. What do you need to do? What's the next step? Kind of thing. So it's really good. Um, oh, shucks. Um, yep. Desiree said um, her spouse is, is an essential, essential personnel and has to be at work basically and working 60 hours, much of it third shift and also having trouble sleeping. I'm sorry. They need you. They need you to be, I guess, focused in there and so they can just come home and hug you. Since hugging's not allowed right now, they need to come home and hug you. <laughs> uh, oh, I like this. All right, Daniel, I heard that. Happy hour this Monday. All right, well, send me the invite. I'd like to do that. Um, lessons of 2008. Gosh, this is really more of a, a Stephen question. But a lot of it is stay, stay in. We don't stop. Okay, lessons of 2008. Don't have one way to sell things. Number two stay, stay in, don't give up. We watched a lot of our competition go away uh, because obstacles came up and they didn't know how to handle them and they gave up. We, that's not who we are. And that's not who Atlanta Academy is. I have to tell you, as I'm sitting here right now, when this whole thing hit, Steve and I looked at each other and we were actually wondering how our Atlanta Academy community would, would weather this storm. And I am so happy to report that my elite group, our elite group of 500 are real uh, entrepreneurs. They, this doesn't phase them. They're finding new opportunities in this whole thing. They're still right here. They're doing business and sending out even more mail. They're like, you know what? Fantastic. I'm going to buy more property right now. Watch me. And that's what's happening. So that's that's some lessons for 2008. You're, you, we are all our own business owners. And you got to think like that and come up with other ways to, to do this. And we are so lucky, so lucky because we've already been buying, selling land all over the country remotely. You know, if I was a, if I was a real estate agent, just, you know, buying and selling property up and down the beach right now, it would be very different and very hard for me. I talked to a girlfriend of mine and I'm like, what's going on? She goes, I can't do an open house, number one. And number two, if I get a listing, uh, everybody's got a sign eight pages and someone wants to go see a listing. Everybody's, you know, freaked out about, you know, they're going to come in my home and I got to, I got to leave my home and I got to do this. And that. Gotta, and now we have eight pages of stuff. We got to sign for someone. Do I disinfect my home before them? And do I disinfect my home after they come in? You know, all kinds of things like that. So we look how, how fortunate we are to be in the situation that we are. Um, that's not stopping us. And by the way, we have so many members all over the world that are in Land Academy. Uh, and they, you know, a couple, couple of really neat guys I can think of right now in Ireland, in Cork, Ireland. And hey, they're on our weekly calls. They're still buying and selling land. And, you know, this is, this is helping keep food on their table too. And some guys from Germany that I'm thinking about right now from our last live event. You know, thank goodness we have all this. So 
Um, yeah, <laughs> that's cute. Lori, Lori said to me too, that her, she's, Lori, you got to stop doing what I do. Her said her shift is 10 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. Yeah, don't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> I want you to take a break. Have some fun. Um, thank you, Lisa. And Lisa's piping in too. She says, yeah, most of them call first. There's a few that sign and mail them in though. I love it. Uh, this is cool. I haven't had this one. So Richard has a good book here for everybody who wants to read it. The Ultimate Guide to Remote Work. I bet there's going to be a lot of guides to remote work coming out here because we're all learning it really fast <laughs> how to do this. Oh, okay, this is good. All right, Chuck's sharing some stuff here. He sent out um, 1,300 units to infill lot owners. And after several no deal responses, he got a good one. And now he has a deal. Has Now I have to ratify the deal. Uh, then Steve says, maybe not the way, but we'll see. I got letters to the neighbors out. Um, some properties, real vacant land, obviously is real big. But the infill lot thing that we talked about, you know, yesterday, I remember calls just a little bit about think about who your buyer is because some builders are going for it. Um, you want to just make sure you have that, that right builder in your back pocket before you pull the trigger, just make sure they're there. But he said, getting good interest because the price is right. Um, I'm not letting this be a problem. Good for you, Chuck. This is so good. Oh, this is really good question. All right. We talked about this yesterday, Tim. Tim said, all right, when you're coming in for land, I haven't even got to my special stuff here, by the way. <laughs> this is great. Tim says, okay, so what percentage do you recommend for our land during these times? Come in hotter than you normally come in. Um, you heard it. You, we talked about it yesterday. You normally come in 25 to 30%, you know, right, of the retail for sale price. I'd come in even hotter. I want this to be a, I can't believe it, you know, situation because there's a, it, it's going to, it's going to work and watch for people calling you back. And don't be afraid to, most people call you back and say, Hey, remember you were going to, you know, pay $18,000 for my, you know, 40 acres over here. They know that you're going to say, yeah, that was a year ago when I sent that offer. Um, and the times are a little bit different, but, and, and we talked about this yesterday too. I use things like, and which is true, I have a lot of property I'm looking at right now and I really got to be, you know, pick and choose what I spending my money on. I like that property and I, I like it at this price. If that works for you, great. Otherwise I totally understand. I wish you all the best and you can come in even hotter now. So 20% is not nuts. Um, oh, this is good. Aaron said my mail order nursery business is booming right now. This is great. Oregon Association of Nurseries expecting, expecting massive demand for vegetable starts, fruiting trees, and shrubs. I love this. We talk about this too. Stephen is a huge advocate to having your own indoor nursery growing. We don't need to, but we just like to. It's just fun and it's cool. And, and talk about safe. You know where your vegetables are coming from because you grew them in your own kitchen. I think this is awesome. I'm so happy to hear that. See, there's a lot of, a lot of new opportunities that are coming up. Oh, thank you, Patricia. Nice to see you. I saw Tom um, asking questions yesterday on our call. Thank you so much. Patricia says, nothing will stop us. Sending best wishes and virtual hugs to all you guys, especially to you, Jill. Thank you so much, Patricia. All right. Um, let's see. More people growing stuff. Exactly. That's all right. I'm going to go into some of the, I'm going to get to the announcements. That was good stuff. And I'll do more at the end here. So let's get to what I wanted to share. So one of it is, I'm just going to take a peek and show you guys. Um, Neighbor Scoop is here. So if you haven't checked it out, you need to check it out. This is Neighbor Scoop. So uh, it is our own site. It is, let me see if it's set up for me to log in and I'll give you kind of a quick little example. It's the coolest thing. Love it. I'm just gonna go in and find some of the properties here that Stephen was recently looking at. How about property history? Don't know what I'm gonna find, but for those of you doing property and you need your and you're doing your due diligence and you need to gosh find out about a property here you go i'm just gonna click on this one and just kind of show you what neighbor scoops all about ta-da 
So what you do is you go, you can do it by address or you can do it by APN. Fill in state, county, APN, and here you go. And as you can see like this here, I've got the, uh, I've got the owner's phone number right here. How great is that? Their cell phone. I can see all kinds of details about it, about the property there. I also have all of these attributes. So I can see everything I want to know about the property. Um, I see, of course, you could see the property address and the mailing address. Those are different, obviously. I can see what they paid for it when they bought it. I've got the legal description. I've got everything right here. Then, if I can show you over here, I've got, and this just launched. Yeah, what's this for? It's been one week today that we launched Neighbor Scoop, and we are so happy. All kinds of different uh, topography maps for you to look at and see the property. I've got over here. This is something that's important to us. What about flooding? I need to know. Well, let's check it. I have a FEMA flood map overlay. Watch me. Look, and here it is over here. I'm not affected at all. Great. And check that off my list. How great is that? Then let's just say I buy the property. I want to I want to sell it to everybody around here. A couple things I can do. I can either click on the properties and write down everyone's information, look it up one by one by one. Or I can go over here and I have a hold please. Polygon. I can put a circle around it or I can just draw my own funky polygon if I want to around the property. Excuse my funky polygon here, basically. And then I can, I didn't connect it. There we go. And then I can choose to, I picked up five because the way I drew it was kind of funky. Anyway, <laughs> um, oh, I, it's okay. It's me, operator error. But anyway, you get the point. You, I can download that into a spreadsheet. And what's great about it too, when I download that information, it gives me all of the information that I saw in the attributes. So it's awesome. And there's more things to it. This is not about Neighbor Scoop, but I just wanted to share that with you. So Neighbor Scoop is alive and well. All right, so back to the good stuff. All right, so a couple things. Number one, for members, just so you know, I know a lot of you are sending out a lot of mail. And we've been doing, we tested this for a couple weeks. We did, um, we did 10% uh, off Wednesdays with our direct mail company offers to owners. Well, the last day for that is going to be this coming Wednesday. So just so you know, you're hearing it now Friday. So this weekend, get your mail together because <laughs> the 10%, the last day to do the 10% off Wednesday uh, for mail through offers to owners is April 1st. It's not an April Fool's joke. It's just going to happen to be on April 1st. So that's the last one, just so you know. What I found interesting is some of the um, quote unquote competitors doing direct mail or just sending out offers for people are closed right now. So I want to hit that home for everybody. If you have been doing mail and sending offers a different way and the gosh, the company you were using is closed, as I've heard of some that have, we are not. And we're here and ready and open and we're not closing to uh, get your offers out. And, and you don't have to be a member, by the way. 10% off is uh, to everybody, just a minimum 1,500 units. And get your mailer together and check out offers2owners.com. And if you have any questions, call Aaron. The phone number's on there. And Aaron Belt will be happy to help you. Now to the other good stuff. All right. We had, um, I mentioned before, our Elite 500 for Land Academy. And it's been working out so great. I love it. And again, every month, things happen. People come, people go. And so we have a wait list. So I have seven names right now. I'm able to move forward from our wait list and you are officially able to jump into Land Academy. So I'm going to share the names with you right now. Okay, so for your names on here, you are in. Uh, I've got Mindy Gris Griwatch. Hope I say that right. I have Kate uh, Mick Elhannon, Brian Marshburn, Young Lee, Nick Frankus, Christopher Bain, and Martin Kayser. So yay, welcome. We are happy to 
virtual hug welcome you into Land Academy. So check your email, you will get some information about uh, what the next step is to join because I know you had to, you put a little money down to be on the wait list and that will be of course taken off um, your enrollment. But before you do that, let me tell you something else because I have a few more slots I'm able to open up. So, and here's what we're doing. At the end of last year, I did a really, really, really crazy thing. I did a crazy promotion for people wanting to join Land Academy. I offered half off of everything. And in light of everything going on right now, I'm doing it again. So right now, for a limited time, if you are one of those people that's been thinking about this, you're not on my wait list, you want to get in anyway, this is for you. And it's not just Land Academy. It's Land Academy or House Academy or even the combo. It applies to any of the programs if you want. Flat, half off. There's a coupon code. You can see it's kind of cut off there. It's invest 50. So yay. Uh, I, it is a limited time. I don't have a date on that yet, but I'll tell you this. As long as you can go to Land Academy or House Academy and you go to the join page and that code, if you put in invest 50 and you don't get the wait list pop up, as long as that code invest 50 works, you are in. I have room and you will be in. So yay. And it applies to all my cleared wait list people. So I'm sure it's in an email coming out to you like now or soon with what you need to do um, to make that work. So as long as the code word works, there's a spot for you. That's everything that I have. So now I want to go ahead and open it up and see official Q&A time. If you have anything about us, what I'm doing. Thank you, Stephen. I see you're helping with some of the technical questions. <laughs> That's great. Um, ask, ask away. I, and I'd love to hear if you have any, any other comments about, you know, what's, what's keeping you on track. And, you know, like Patricia and Tom, I, I, I thought about you guys just today. I have a, we have a couple of good friends that live in Chicago where you are, and they were reporting the news that you guys in New Orleans and one other city that you might be the next wave. And like, I think we're all could be the next wave. I just, I don't like hearing that, but it makes me think of my people um, when you're in those cities that are hitting the news. So we're in Los Angeles, obviously, and they're bringing the, the mercy ship here to be ready for all of us um, as needed. What else? Does anybody have any other questions? This has been awesome. Thank you so much for being here and, and supporting us. And I hope this helped you. I'm happy to do these. Um, this has been so great. Well, let me recap again. So again, so if you are sending out mail, don't forget, uh, Wednesday, April fool's day is going to be the last day for the 10% off. So get your mail ready this weekend. Just remember it's 1500 units to do that. And then what else? Everybody here on my wait list, you are cleared and we'd love to have you in and welcome you to the Land Academy family and, and get you going as fast as possible. And then last thing, which is the best thing, and there, I know there's some emails are gonna go about this too, but I'm bringing it back. My end of 2019, um, special. I use. I've never done that. Obviously, I do. Like, usually at the end of the year, I do one big thing, and I just we just did a huge half off thing. And so, with everything going on right now, we want to help, and so we're like we're bringing it back half off. You know, we'll get you in, get you going, um, everything that we have, and and happy to help. There's as you can see, there's a lot of people in this group that are um, putting food on the table, buying and selling land, us included. And um, we can teach you how to do that too. I think we are there. So thank you so much. I am Jill DeWitt, um, half of Land Academy and House Academy with my partner, Stephen Jack Butala. Happy you could join me today. Stay safe and you are not alone in your real estate ambition. Bye.